This is my second time coming to Lincoln, Nebraska. It has to be one of my favorite places to come perform in because the energy is so fucking live. Once upon a time, me going to a to a party and seeing people really have that energy when they were listening to hip hop in the early 90s. And I remember always telling myself, man, I wish that's the type of energy I wish I could give people. That always stuck in my mind, so I, I told myself the day I get the opportunity to be on a big stage, man, I'm going to rock this shit. One of my favorite things about meet and greets is getting to know my fans and getting to know where they're from. Because it's very important for me to know how it is that they relate to my music. I like to know how it is that they grow up. Maybe they came across certain difficulties, like how I did, you know, growing up in the living room and shit and not really having many resources, resources, you know, to come up out the ghetto and shit. I know some people watch my music videos and really identify themselves with, you know, their, their circumstances. So, you know, I love this about meet and greets that I get to interact and really conversate with my fans. I really trip out how people really look forward to seeing me. I never thought this day would come. Throughout the concerts, I can't wait for this for this part to come up. And this when I play corridos for all of my fans in the crowd. Sometimes it makes me smile because I can tell some fans in the crowd might be Asian, might be white, you know, they might be black. They they probably never heard of corridos, but when I play it, I I kind of understand that I'm I'm introducing them to it. So it kind of makes me feel really good about that. It's always good to expand. This is one of my favorite corridos that I usually play at all my concerts. Yeah, that was my shooter, Lil J Rocks. Come on, man, drop this shit, DJ.
This is Jay Rock's favorite song right here. Back to the latest. Cool the mind. As time goes by, no matter what, I continue on missing Lil' J-Rocks more and more. That's why at every one of my concerts, I always try to give him a shout out and I always want people to remember him. It's just a certain feeling.